back to my channel and to a continuation of us decorating the house and celebrating the holidays. Romeo and I have so many holiday traditions that we do every year obviously decorating the house. We make gingerbread houses every year. We have like a contest. I pretty much have Christmas movies playing on the TV all the time while I'm working every day. We drink hot cocoa. We wear matching pajamas. We do all of the fun things, right Kinsley? <laughs> <laughs> and this year with us staying home more often, it was just so important for us to continue with those traditions, but also introduce some new ones that we're gonna love and do every year because the holidays are just such a special time for us. So like you guys saw in the last video, we already started decorating just with the stuff that I already had in storage, things that I've kind of carried over from year to year. And for me, decorating and for us, it's less about glittery trees and what we decorate with, but it's more about the feeling that our home has it's, I want it to be warm and inviting and cozy. I was going for a very like rich tones with like warm textiles with a very Scandinavian design direction. So it was important for me to incorporate our keepsake decor with new kind of traditional Scandinavian style decor as well. And what better place to shop for Scandinavian decor than Ikea from furniture and lighting to Christmas decorations and even um, Swedish style desserts. They have everything that I was gonna need to really make this a Scandinavian warm, cozy place for the holidays. Very special thank you to Ikea for sponsoring today's video. And we are kicking off their four weeks of wonder where myself along with three other amazing creators are gonna give you some great holiday inspiration. We're gonna be sharing our holiday traditions, old ones, that we love, new ones that we're doing this year while we're staying home, and hopefully inspire a very magical, wonderful holiday for you guys this year. So grab some hot cocoa, a really warm blanket, cozy blanket, get cozy on the couch. Let's do some fun DIYs and decorate parts of my house. So I wanna start over here in the entryway. And you guys saw last time that we got the tree, finally had some tree dilemmas, but we got a tree, we did some fun DIYs. But I did mention I didn't quite have enough to do the bookcase to my liking, so I wanna see um, what we can incorporate there. And also on this other side, right when you walk into the door, I love sitting next to a fireplace or a Christmas tree in the winter time. So I wanna create a really cute little seating area. And I have some great pieces to do that with. Although the Christmas tree puts off this really beautiful warm light, I don't think a seating area could be complete without a floor lamp. So this floor lamp is super beautiful in a natural wood with clean lines, and it'll help to light up the corner opposite the tree. To ground the seating area, I chose this really simple rug as I felt like it needed to have inclusion. I felt like it needed to snuggle up with one another instead of just all of these pieces sitting in the entryway. And this has a little bit of woven black in it and it's very neutral. So it goes with the overall theme. What better chair or piece of furniture to sit next to the tree in than a rocking chair? This chair is amazing. It's so pretty in this natural wood tone that pairs back with the lamp on the other side. And then to break up some of the light wood and the cane and bring in some of the black that we have in throughout the room, I chose this little side table. And it's the perfect size to kind of have here with your cup of coffee. Making this space a little more cozy. I found this at a flea market and I thought it brought in some of the green tones carrying through with the design. And a little bit of pine cone, pine twig. And I love all of the texture in this throw and nice little cozy throw next to the tree to bundle up with. Maybe a fuzzy pillow. I love it. But we're gonna add a little more to this area in a little bit. It has like some stars and stuff that I wanna hang in the window. And I wanna add a few more things over here on the bookcase. With bookcases, you always start off really strong and then you find that you don't have great pieces anymore. So I love these top two shelves with all of my like vintage books and then all of these bottle brush teas are from Ikea too. As soon as I saw this like lantern style light, I was like, oh, I have to have this. Look how beautiful this is with the black and gold. They also have it in two other colors, like a dark green and I think a red. Even the bottom of the light bulb is gold. 
I loved it. But I thought it would light up this third shelf down here. I usually have a Himalayan salt lamp on this for every day, but it doesn't really feel holiday, you know, but this one, I'll keep this one year round for sure. And then maybe down here, we can slide this over. And just include some of my everyday stuff that I already had here. Some vintage kind of bottles, a little baby wreath, just to make it a little more festive. I had some ornaments obviously from last year that I incorporated into the tree, but I was excited to see what Ikea had because I wanted to bring in like an emerald green and more just like glass clear ornaments to make the tree feel really light because it's so full. I wanted it to kind of be like a little bit sparse and a little bit Scandinavian, obviously. Minimal, but have some really cute handmade stuff. Look how cute these gold ones were. They come with little red string for you to put them on, so it adds a little bit of color. I thought those were cute. And I love, these were perfect. These were that emerald Christmas green that I was looking for. It's gonna blend in, obviously, but that's kind of like the look I'm going for. Glass and green. Kinsley loves ornaments. No, this is not for you. They also had this pack of really pretty glass ones. Look how pretty, it comes in a pack of three. It's like a really simple snowflake design on them. I thought they were so pretty. It already feels so cozy in here. Ugh, but we need a tree topper. Look how cute. Simple star, gold star going with our theme. So one of the DIYs that I really wanted to do this year was to make those dried orange slice garlands. We're gonna need some oranges, obviously. I got 10, cause I was like, I don't know how, I'm not sure, quite sure how many orange slices it's gonna take to make up a garland. So we're gonna do a lot, but I only have one baking sheet. So we're gonna do this in stages. <laughs> Based on my research, we have to preheat the oven to 200. Get that going. And then we're going to thinly slice our oranges, oil at the bottom. And it said lightly spritz with cooking oil, like lightly. Now we can cut our oranges. So I'm just gonna use a paper towel and kind of blot out some of the juice. Just to help it dry a little better, I feel like I read that somewhere. <laughs> now we're gonna place them on the baking sheet. I read that it's supposed to be like two inches apart, but I don't have that much space or that many baking sheets. So I'm hoping that just keeping them a little more close together will still work. Now we're gonna put them in the oven for two hours. So now that our oranges are dried out, I did like three batches to make this mini. And I actually went and kind of burned a few because I really liked the color that it made. It was like a more of a, a burnt orange color. And I picked up these three different colors of jute, twine. They were all gonna be great to string our oranges. And then we could just figure out what kind of color we're going for. So I'm gonna take some of this jute cord. Let's do them five foot. What I'm gonna go for is just tacking it right here on the top. That way, as the garland hangs, they'll kind of move around with the string. Some will have to make a hole, but others we can just slide it through and I'll make like a little tail for the end. And then tie a knot. Just super simple like that. You could also add in other decorative things like little berries or cinnamon or a little bits of greenery. How adorable. I used 12 orange slices for five feet. Is this five feet? This may be more like four feet. So let's see what they look like on the mantle. Cute. I love when things are off center like that. I usually design like that where I like all of the stockings on one side and like that. And then we can put some more over on the Christmas tree to kind of tie that side of the room in with this one. So another way to bring lots of warm textures into your home, make it feel more warm and cozy is to swap out or add in some pillows that are more festive, a little more fuzzy, <laughs> a little more, you know, just like cozy and warm. So these aren't exactly cutting it, gotta go, but also mixing in some of the ones you already have. So I think what I'm gonna do is take away the black ones. So I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna take this one, but I'm gonna keep 
the big ones because those help to ground the room and tie in all of the rest of the color palette and the decor in here and add some more kind of throw pillows in. It's such an easy thing to do and to add in and it really kind of transforms like your couch or chairs throughout your home. So to go with the plaid that I already had, I'm bringing in this plaid from Ikea, it's so pretty. So that'll help to tie in some more of the plaid. This one was so pretty and it was like Scandinavian Christmas. This is exactly what I wanted, you guys. And then put this one here too. See, it looks totally different than it did just now with the black pillow. Over on this side, we could do the same thing. <laughs> Can you see her? I wish I could make this up and pose her where I want her, but look, she's loving it. Are you having fun back there? This is the same one that I put in the entryway. It's just super cozy and fuzzy. So I'll add this in this way, just with the stripes just being a hint because I don't have much gray going on in here except for the trees. And then on this side, we'll add in another plaid. Saw in the last video, by the time I got to the coffee table, I had nothing, but I think I got some things that will help with that. So I got this round gold tray that'll bring in some of the gold that we're, oh, yes. <laughs> Welcome. It'll bring down some of the brass and gold that we're putting kind of like sprinkled throughout. I like trays or like little platter type things to kind of corral all of your coffee table stuff all into an area. It makes it look a little more purposeful and not just like random pieces. Then we can bring in, I got some more bottle bristle trees. I don't know why I can't ever figure out that word, bottle bristles. <laughs> I feel like they would be cute kind of collage together. This beautiful green candle. Got a lot of green going on this year, but I really, that's kind of what I really wanted. You guys know how much I love my breakfast nook since we redid it. And it's just, it really came to life after the last makeover. But I was like, well, we're in the kitchen. This is where we're gonna, you know, build gingerbread houses. I saw an inspiration photo of this really beautiful chandelier garland. I figured out a way to DIY it just to replace the shade. So I'll keep the original light there, but we'll kind of do this like garland DIY. Basically we want like a solid circle of garland or pine. And then we're gonna basically string it up to the ceiling. So you could use wreaths, like two wreaths. And I would recommend just putting them back to back like that or yeah, back to back. I'm fluffing them together and there you have it. You can just wire, wire them together and put your strand and put whatever you wanted in them, like more um, textures like pine cones or berries. But I wanted mine to be pretty large and wreaths like that could get pretty expensive. So I just went and got a wire wreath frame and we're gonna use garland from Ikea to make it. So Ikea's garland comes like this. You need some floral wire and some wire cutters so that you can put it on the wreath frame. We're gonna start on the top and then we're gonna flip it over and do some more on the bottom. So we're just gonna take some wire and tack it down. Like you would a normal wreath, I feel like. We're just gonna work our way around, tacking the garland to this little wire frame until we get it to be full on the top and the bottom. One of them got us this far. So definitely not full enough, but I think two might do it. I'm gonna flip it over and now do the bottom part so it looks double-sided. So now we have these little sprigs that we can add in just to give it some depth, texture, a little bit of pine cones. And I had these little LED candle light clip ornaments. That's a long name. This is something fun and festive and different. Now to hang it on the ceiling. So I had this already in my stash. It's just really lightweight plastic chain link. It's really easy to cut and just a loop onto whatever you're going to hang. Since this isn't heavy at all, we're gonna use some cup hooks. I'm gonna put three of them around the post that comes down for the light fixture and then just hook the chain onto there. There we have our holiday garland chandelier DIY.
You guys, look how stinking cute this is. So I just cut off the rest of the chain that I didn't need. So just make sure that you're securing it to the ceiling properly. We don't want anything falling down on you or anything. So I felt like over here definitely needed some festive jolly joy. What are these words I'm coming up with? I thrifted. I found this beautiful Scandinavian style cookie jar and I was like, oh, that's going to be so pretty for the holidays. It has like little houses on it. It was like two dollars or something so i love to mix things like this that i found and then mixing them in with new stuff around your house really makes everything really special okay so i've got some more of these little trees i felt like they were just too cute look at these little bitty houses oh they're just, just like too i get really excited for christmas you guys i love to decorate for Christmas. Also, I got a few of these. I got one small one and the large one because I always love when they have the little twinkly lights in them like this. So you wanna kinda like make it messy so that it actually stands up inside there. At least that's my plan. <laughs> jar and I want to put up here the oval shape tray to the one that I put on the coffee table so maybe that will look pretty with some of our little trees it'll kind of gives it some contrast so the black and the gold and then the trees will show up a little better I had another idea for a fun DIY and this DIY is more if you have limited space if you don't have room for a big tree or you just want to bring some kind of like tree ornament element into another room in your house I had every intention on it being real pine like a real tree it's really early in the season so they don't have them yet or I couldn't find any so I have these that we're gonna use so that I can like show you guys the DIY and you're gonna need a glass vase a glass jar of some kind Kind. This one is from Ikea. I felt like it was the perfect shape, exactly the shape that I was going for for this DIY. If your pine is real, you can use a glass vase, fill it with water, and it'll stay really pretty. So just take your jar and position your branches in here. I cut mine at two different um, heights so that they would kind of like cluster together. So I basically am creating this branch coming off so that we can hang some ornaments here. And we have the same beautiful ornaments that we used on the Christmas tree, so it'll tie the whole theme into the kitchen as well. I love these emerald green ones. And then the snowflake glass, they're pretty. And then we'll just hang ornaments off of it like we would a normal Christmas tree. Simple DIYs. You kind of just have to keep bending your branches until your ornaments can hang straight and freely. Maybe style up the window seal a little bit with these cute little houses. I love these houses. They also had this really cute battery powered little lantern that I thought would be cute in like a window or on a shelf where you don't have a plug. Bring in some gold candlesticks with our green candles. And now it's just a really cute little area to bake some cookies, to, you know, be in the kitchen, be festive. So I have two of these and I was, thinking that they might be cool on the windows here. They don't have anything in them, obviously. I like to think of all of my projects as a work in progress, that nothing has to be perfect right then and there. You gotta figure it all out. That would just really stress me out. So let's see what it looks like. Let's keep it there. Maybe I'll add in some berries or some pine cones. Maybe I'll go back to the store and get some more. Since one of our holiday traditions is always to go around and look at Christmas lights, so how people have decorated their houses and just drive down really pretty streets where they have kind of done it up for the holidays, I always like to think about how my house looks from the outside. So like if someone was to like drive by or look across the street or something into the house, what would it look like? So this big window is already looking so good because we have the tree in it, but I was like, what, look how skin, what else can we do to just make it like that much more special. Throughout my whole inspiration board, I had like these star shapes or origami, like paper, lanterns. Ikea had some and look how cool these are. So they light up. They're so light. We're just gonna be using some of those wall safe hook 
things that you can put on the ceiling or the wall and it can hang up to a certain weight because these are super light. So we're gonna hang them up in the window kind of at a staggered look and then see what they look like from the outside. I love the stars, but obviously they have to be plugged in. So cords can get really tricky in the holiday season. It's like, how do you hide them to make them look good? To cover the cords around the window frame, I could just put one of these garlands up there and maybe like weave some stuff into it, maybe make it a little cuter. I don't think I wanna do it on the whole window, but I totally could. But I'm definitely filling up this area a lot. I would rather have the garland there and make it look a little more full than not have it there and see the cords. Oh wow, I actually think it helped to kind of finish off that edge because it was missing a little bit of greenery or a little bit of something and it frames the window really nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed these holiday DIYs and decorating with me. Ugh, if you're anything like us, this season just brings so much joy, so much happiness, and bringing all of these warm, cozy textiles and making these moments throughout our house just invites the season indoors. I hope this video inspires you guys to decorate your home for the holidays and start new traditions or carry on with the ones that you already have. And I would love to know what your holiday traditions are. So let me know in the comments below what your holiday traditions are and this is just the beginning of Ikea Four Weeks of Wonder. Next up, Danny over on Stovetop Kisses is going to be giving us some amazing cooking tips, holiday recipes. I'm gonna leave her channel linked in the description so that you guys can continue to celebrate with us. And as always, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, I post new DIYs, holiday DIYs, room makeovers, and thrift flips on my channel every Sunday. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know exactly when I upload every Sunday. Sunday and happy holidays. We'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. Now that I'm seeing this up here, I feel like I should put another garland up there. Work in progress, guys. Easy bye. <laughs> bye guys.